What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to turn on 2FA in Fortnite Season OG. Turning on 2FA is going to give you a free boogie down emote and it's going to completely protect your account. So let's go and get started right now. But before we do that, as always, I just want to quickly remind you guys that I am still gifting my subscribers whatever they want from the item shop. So if you would like to have a chance to get a free gift from me, it can be based Basically, whatever you want from the item shop, like any skin, bundle, back bling, pickaxe, wrap, emote, whatever you want from the item shop, including the chapter 4 season 5 OG pass. So all you want to go ahead and do for a chance to get a free gift from me is basically subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and most importantly, comment down below your Epic Games username so I can add you and send you the gift if you end up winning. And also, if you guys would like to support the channel, please consider using code BUCKS inside the item shop. It's literally one of the shortest codes ever. B-U-X BUCKS. Thank you very much. Hashtag ad. All right, so just like I said, guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Season OG. The season just arrived and I'm sure there are a lot of new players coming to the game. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn on two-factor authentication to both get a free emote and completely protect your account. So let me show you guys what emote that is. It's called the Boogie Down Emote. As you guys can see, we got the emote right here. It's called the Boogie Down. It's a pretty cool emote. It was added in Season 4. It's like very old. But you guys can get this emote right here for completely free after turning on two-factor authentication. And your account will be really safer at the same time. So it's a pretty smart thing to turn on to FA. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can turn it on step by step on every single platform. So make sure to watch this video until the very end for all the things you guys need to do. So before we turn on to FA, there are a few settings we might need to do. So let me show you guys what those settings are. So first up, open up this little pop up from here, then go all the way down to where it says menu and then click on the settings on top from here. It's going to take you to the settings page right over here. So from the settings page, guys, you got to look to the top and you guys are going to see a bunch of different tabs. So we have the video tab, we have the game tab, we have the game UI tab, we have the touch and motion tab, we have the mouse and keyboard tab, controller options tab, audio tab, keyboard, like a lot of different tabs. So make it to the very last one, which is called account and privacy. And inside the account and privacy tab, there are a few settings we're going to be doing. So basically, these are not like 100% required, but some people say that there could be some problems if you don't do these settings beforehand. So because of that, just in case we're doing these settings. So here we go. These are the settings you guys need to do. So you got to go to the place where it says social privacy. And right here, guys, make sure to turn on can receive gifts. So normally, why is why would you even turn this off? But like some people have it off. So the reason we turn this on is because we're going to be getting the boogie down emote, as I said. And if this is turned off, some people say that you might not be able to get the emote for free. So let's just leave it on. And, you know, this doesn't do anything bad to you. Just make sure you put this on. If somebody wants to gift you, they can't give you if you put this off. So just put it on. You can get gifts. And it's a pretty good, cool thing. So now the next setting we got to do, we got to go a little bit down to where it says gameplay privacy. And in this section, there are a few things we got to do as well. So public game stats off, hydro display name during regular gameplay. I don't know why this is related to turning on 12A, but for this one, we got to turn it off. So our name is visible inside the game. Now, this is the part that we need to do. Like this is what we need to do inside of the settings part. But there's one more thing that we need to do that is actually turning on to a face. So let me show you guys what you need to do for that. So after you guys go ahead and make sure you are done with the settings, you turn on can receive gifts and turn off hydro display name during regular gameplay. What you guys need to do next is apply these settings and then pretty much leave the settings menu and go back to the main lobby of Fortnite. So now, as I said, we are done with the settings part. We did the settings that some people claim we need to do, but now for this part, we gotta go and actually turn on two-factor authentication. So normally, if you go over to your settings or anywhere around here, you won't be able to see anything related to two-factor authentication. Sometimes it might tell you inside the game, but you can't see it anywhere around here. So you have to do it outside of Fortnite. And basically, let me show you guys what you need to do for that. So as I said, once you are done with the settings, the next thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and basically do in order to go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication inside of Fortnite Season OG. And by the way, it doesn't really change in any season. So you can do this exactly the same in every single season. But pretty much, as I said, the next thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and basically do is go on any browser. So this browser can be 
your console's browser, your PC's browser, you can do this on your phone too. So it does not matter which platform you do this on, but just go to a browser and search up epicgames.com. So you gotta go to the store page of epicgames.com. Once you make your way to the website, from there, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what you need to do step by step to go and turn on your two-factor authentication on every single platform. All right, so as you guys can see, we are now inside of the epicgames.com website. And once you load up inside the website, this is what you're gonna be seeing on your screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the top right of the screen and we're gonna see this little icon located right here. Once you bring your cursor on top of the icon, it's gonna open up this little pop-up right over here. So from this little pop-up, what you guys are gonna wanna do is you're gonna go down to where it says account and click on this. So once you guys click that, it's gonna take you to this page right here where you guys can see a bunch of different tabs on your screen. So we have account settings, email preferences, payment management, transactions, like a bunch of different tabs right here. So from these tabs, what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna come over here to where it says password and security and click on this. And it's gonna take you to this page right over here where you guys can set your password, change your password and stuff like that. So from here, what you guys need to do again is go down a little bit and you guys are gonna see this part where it says two-factor authentication. So here is where we enable two-factor authentication and there are three different methods you guys can use to do this. The first one is a two-factor authenticator app. You can use a app from your like app store or google play and then we have email for two-factor authentication i use this one it's pretty easy to do so and there's sms code for two-factor authentication so you choose which one you want to do the best these two are the best in my opinion but if you always keep your phone with yourself you can use this right here which is a two-factor authenticator app you can use the app on your phone to pretty much authenticate that it's you that is using, you know, playing Fortnite. So you can use this one too. You can use email, you can use SMS. As I said, email is the easiest one to use most of the time, but it kind of depends on what you prefer. So choose the one that is the best for you and then click the setup button right next to it. Then it's gonna show you what you need to do step by step to pretty much set this up. And once you set it up, you're gonna be getting yourself the free boogie down emote and you're gonna be protecting your account. So as you guys can see, that is how you can go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication here inside of Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 5 or Season OG because you know it has two names, but Season OG is absolutely better. But yeah, as I said, that is how you guys can go ahead and turn on two-factor authentication. Let me know in the comments down below if you could get the boogie down emote. If you did this completely correctly, you will get the boogie down emote. As I said, it's a pretty cool emote. It looks really nice. And it is 100% free, so it's definitely worth take getting it. And you can get it for completely free just by doing this. So make sure to go and turn on your two-factor authentication. As soon as you open your account, it's the best way to do it. Like You should turn on two-factor authentication because it's like one of the best things you can do. You get a free emote, you protect your account. It's definitely really cool. And make sure to go turn it on, and it's going to be just like that. So that is how you guys could turn it on. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel with the post notifications turned on because if you turn on the post notifications you won't miss out on any future uploads from me and also please consider dropping a like on this video as it really really helps the channel out i really appreciate it i'll see you guys later in different videos take care bye